I'm going to cut out a shapes puzzle for my granddaughter. This is a 12 by or 24 by 24 Luan, and I'm using a one millimeter bit. The thickness of the Luan is 0.21, even though it tells you it's quarter inch, it's not. Mike it and you'll see it's actually 0.20 to 0.21. So what I have to do is establish the center, and that's in the middle right there. So I'm going to move it over to the center and then run the program. Hold on. Okay, so I moved it to the center, the little dot is. I came over here and hit the zero, okay, and it zeroes it. So that's our zero, zero, zero. Now I'm gonna jump in and find the program. So hold on, pull this fob out, or flash drive, I guess, if you wanna use that term too. Find the other one, stick it in. Green side up. Hold on. There it is. Arr. Okay. You'll see the USB change colors. You go into my Hensley file. And you see it up there? It says shape cutout. Created today. And it says material size, Z distance, max origin, material surface, and it's centered. That's why I always check to make sure you got that one right. And next, now I have to turn it on and let it run. Slow it down when we first start it up. Alright, it's up and running. And I printed it, I cut it out the socket. Move it so it takes about, I don't know, five or ten passes to get through this material because I'm using such a small bit. It's a one millimeter bit. So I don't take much in each pad. So, there we go. And it's going to be tabs, so there'll be tabs to cut out, because I don't want those materials flying through the air. So I'll do another quick shot and it's almost done. This is our shape puzzle complete. This is version one, obviously, because it's uh, the first one I've done like this. It's for my granddaughter. So the shapes you can see are circle, triangle, hexagon, crescent, rectangle, square, pentagon, and ellipse. So you've got those shapes that you can do. I picked those up because she's been working with those shapes. I painted the back of it black, as you can see. This is two pieces of quarter inch sandwiched together. I just glued it together. As you saw, I cut out the shapes on the CNC with a one millimeter bit. Uh, it would be nice if I had a laser, they would fit tighter, but she's a little, she's 19 months. So she's doing these shapes and it's, with the slop, it makes it much easier for them to fit in. Uh, if I was doing it again, I think I would paint this board black as well. That way the shapes would stand out a little more. And I might do that with a brush later. So I'll leave it to her mom to do. But that's it. I'll take it inside and put the shapes in so that you can see how they fit. They're a little loose, but they fit fairly well. And it'll do good for a, a 19 month old. Now the shapes stand out a little bit more because I have not varnished them. Uh, the reason for that is she's learning her colors too. So we're thinking about uh, painting these different colors. And you might end up painting the inside of this or back here, different color too. You can see how it's sloppy, so it fits loosely. Uh, that's good because she doesn't have the hand-eye coordination yet to make a tight fit. And it also makes it easier for her to get them out. She does flip it over to dump it out, but this will make it easier for her to put in. So, um, that's a two millimeter gap, because I use a one millimeter tool. Uh, so it's one millimeter all the way around, so that's a, a gap that's uh, pretty large. You can do better with a laser, but my laser, I have a seven watt and it wouldn't cut the material all the way through. So I used one millimeter. I might try to find a 0.5 millimeter that'll shrink it down a little bit, but for her age and ability, it, it turned out pretty good. We'll see if she has fun with it. Thanks for watching. Job. Good job.
Good job. Look at that. Yeah. Can you get the last one in? All done.